So we're gonna we're gonna focus on your body, yes. And it's like you are starting from scratch, yeah. So what I wanna see is that, of course, when you get to the net, always your body position is like you are sitting, yes. Of course, you have to feel comfortable, and then your core becomes a big part. Then I don't want the arms like this. I completely disagree with that. And have them close to you, but bent. Yes, because eventually we will talk about having the arm bend so you can extend. Okay? Now, first let's start with the preparation, which is going to be, is not the arm, yeah, is your core. So I want to see that your belly button will move, yeah? So it's going to look something like this. That's the upper body. Then, of course, if you do it right, you see that my knee is going to also move, my hip is going to be asking for a step. Yes? So, preparation, step. How big the step has to be, it depends on the ball. So right now, I will give you the ball. The ball is gonna get to you. So I want you to wait for it. When the ball is close to you, you step and push it. So I just wanna find the impact, yeah? What I don't wanna see is that you prepare and you are so eager to take the ball, yeah? Also, I don't want the tennis style, yeah? Here and because that's not real. When you play with okay players, do better, you don't have time for that bullshit tennis technique. Yeah? So, hold, pull. Yeah? Hold, pull. Right now, just for hand, because backhand will be a mirror in front. You understand? If you understand one side, we need to transfer that to the point that, if you understand this, well, now this. It's the same shit. Okay? So, just focus on that.
So for backend, we will be max zero with the max. <coughs> for backend, it's the same. Yeah? But on the other side. So I want to see. The arms got thin, a little bit bent, your body leaning a little bit forward. So max. Why the step is that important? Maybe a lot of coaches won't mind, Rika, if you play like this. I hate it. Because for me, when you play, the shoulder, if I have a, a camera there, yeah? The shoulders need to be Okay, I'm going for a farther ball. Oh, they are playing right on my stomach. Yeah, like to me, this, this shouldn't happen at your level or better place. Yeah. No way. So even if you don't move the feet, at least the shoulder needs to be always like shoulder. Yeah, shoulder. So when you train, I don't want to see this or this. Yeah. Worse, yeah? Always the correct leg and shoulder. Good. I think at some point when I was doing volleys in yeah. Finland, I think you, you told me that because I couldn't get the backhand where I wanted. But then you, you just told me to step towards that direction. Yes, yes. I mean, the shoulders need to be, but, yeah. but be careful with that because if you play there, the concept of it's very broad. Yeah, yeah, okay, I step there, but to play there, I'm not going to step there, no? Of course. So be careful. <laughs> That's when the, where yeah, the coaches yeah. need to, 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 it's not black or white. No, no. They, they need to have, you know, uh, or knowledge on it, because then you step towards the target, okay, I'm going out of the door, so I step there. No. Yeah, makes sense? But you always say something. Yeah, but the shoulder is basically pointing. Also, where you live. Yeah. For my position is this, like if I want to play fence, I'm not going to step to the fence, I'm going to step there, but I'm going to raise the But basically your shoulder will be pointing. Your shoulder needs to be like, like this, yeah, not, not, not open. Okay, so it's good when you step, but be careful. Yeah? All right, let's see the back end. I'm trying to see if you keep the hands, yeah? But, but you don't do this, or you don't take it too far back, yeah? So you're in front, and then step. Yeah? Go. Okay, just have the ball, please. Yes. Pose. the ball in front, yeah, in front of you, but is this in front? Yeah. Yeah, is this in front? It is, yes. Yeah. Okay, so on paper they are both correct. What is the issue with this or this? Because look at my wrist. Here is my perfect uh, position, yeah, optimal way of hitting the ball. From here I can hammer the ball, yeah, I can choose if I play slow or I play fast. But if I have someone that tells me, step to the ball, don't wait for the ball. Then, what happens here? My wrist is fucking broken. Yeah, you don't get it. But I'm doing what you power. ask for, yeah, coach? So be careful. Wait for it. Then you decide how much you push. 
Oh, drop shot. Okay. Oh, long. Okay. So basically, you always need to play small, and then you want to play deeper or faster, you become elastic. Yeah? But you cannot be so eager about touching the ball so far. Yeah? So be careful with how my words go in the brain. Okay? So wait for that ball. Very good. Wait a lot for it. Go back. So two yards now. 